As healthcare workers, we might find all the different oxygen delivery systems confusing. But not anymore. From this video, we'll cover the main oxygen delivery systems which we are seeing in our clinical rotations. Let's get on to the video. Before we get into the different types of oxygen delivery systems, we need to go over a few key terms. First of all, we'll see about types of systems referred to as low flow and high flow. Low flow systems, like nasal cannula, deliver oxygen at a rate that is less than the amount of air that the patient can inhale or exhale in one minute, called minute ventilation. The minute ventilation of a healthy adult male at rest is about 6 liter per minute. So, when we talk about low flow systems, we talk about systems that deliver oxygen at a rate less than 6 liters per minute. Whereas the high flow systems are going to deliver oxygen at a rate higher than the patient's minute ventilation. Next, you'll need to understand that oxygen delivery is often talked about in two different ways, liters per minute, and fraction of inspired oxygen or, more simply percent oxygen. Now we'll see the oxygen delivering devices one by one. Nasal prongs. Nasal prongs that sit in the nostrils. Flow rate. 1 to 6 liter per minute. So it's a low flow system. VO2. 24 to 44 percentage. Advantages. Small, lightweight can use while eating slash drinking, comfortable. Disadvantages Can cause skin breakdown at nostrils and ears, can be drying, add humidification to prevent this. Simple face mask The standard face mask that covers the nose and mouth. Flow rate 6 to 8 liter per minute, borderline low flow system, depending on how it's used and the oxygen demands of the patient. VO2, 40 to 60 percent advantage. Easy to use. Disadvantage. Uncomfortable, claustrophobic for some patients, the patient can't eat or drink while wearing, dries the nostrils. Partial rebreather. Face mask with reservoir bag and a two way valve that allows some of the exhaled air to enter the reservoir bag. This air, which contains some oxygen, is reused there by increasing the amount of oxygen the patient receives. Flow rate 6 to 10 liter per minute. VO2 60 to 80 percent. Advantages this Provides higher VO2 than a simple face mask Disadvantage Uncomfortable, bulky due to reservoir bag, claustrophobic for some, PT can't eat or drink while wearing, dries the nares, and may not fit well Non-rebreather the non-rebreather mask looks almost exactly like the partial rebreather, except it has two one-way valves. One of those valves prevents any exhaled air from entering the reservoir bag and the other valves prevent any room air from entering the mask while allowing CO2 to be exhaled out into the atmosphere. Flow rate 10 to 15 liter per minute VO2 60 to 90 percent Advantages a great choice when higher oxygen flow rates are needed. Disadvantages Bulky, can be claustrophobia inducing for some patients, must watch reservoir bag closely to ensure it remains inflated at all times, the patients unable to communicate, eat and drink. Venturi 
looks essentially like a face mask with the addition of color-coded adapters that direct a specific oxygen concentration to the patient, often used in persistent hypercarbia or moderate to severe hypoxemia. Flow rate 2 to 15 liter per minute FIO2 Adapters deliver set amounts of FIO2 at 24 to 60 percent. Advantages Can deliver precise and dependable FIO2. Disadvantages Only goes up to 60 percent FIO2, so not for patients who have significantly high oxygen demands, bulky, restrict communication, eating, and drinking. Eye flow nasal cannula The HFNC is an oxygen delivery system that includes air, oxygen blender, humidifier, heater, and a nasal cannula to deliver precise and very high flow oxygen to your patient. Flow rate Up to 60 liter per minute VO2 21 to 100 percent Advantages same as Salter with the added benefit of providing higher flow rate and consistent FIO2 for patients with high oxygen demands. Disadvantages, expensive, not typically available for home use due to high flow rates. Bag Valve Mask Also called a BVM, the bag valve mask is what we use when your patient is unable to breathe effectively without assistance. It consists of a face mask and reservoir bag that you position over the patient's nose slash mouth while forcing air into the lungs by squeezing the bag. Flow rate 12 to 15 liter per minute. Feel 2, 60 to 100 percent. Advantages This is an important go to device in a respiratory emergency and should always be at the ready. When you do your first head to toe assessment, make sure you know where the BVM is kept. In some units there is one per room, in MedSurf units, there might be one shared device located nearby, always know where your BVM is and how to hook it up. Disadvantages, requires an effective seal, provider fatigue, used for short term ventilation only. Ok friends that's all about today. Hope that this video will helps you breathe a little easier and clinical. Thanks for watching.